All right, well, on the bench, definitely not a CB. <laughs> this is my signal generator, my 8640B signal generator. My awesome, awesome signal generator. That's never failed me till now. Um, so, I was having issues with one of the regulator boards here. Uh, this is the 20 volt regulator board. So, uh, I don't have extension um, extensions for these boards, so it's tough to test these. So I kind of just took an educated guess and decided to order uh, another one of these uh, boards, hoping that the board itself was the issue. So what's cool about these regulator boards is you have two LEDs indicating... Um, you know your power you have minus 20 plus 20 so this one here was lit up but the plus 20 was not lit up so when you go back here to the regulator boards man this thing's heavy you can see you have these LEDs let you know you know that you got in this case plus 44 plus 5 regulator board uh, minus 5.2 this is this drives the fan and then the plus 20 and minus 20 this is the one I was having issues with so uh, yeah the plus 20 um, LED was not lit up so then I thought maybe I had issues with the, this um, this board has the main power board um, I'm not sure if this is the exact name for it but um, I thought it was this these are common to go as well um, but I went through, I took, took all the caps out, uh, everything seemed to be okay with this. So, uh, I noticed when I would give this thing a little, a little whack like this, the light would come back on. And it would stay on until I flexed, flexed the chassis a little bit and I would lose 20 volts there again and then this would start blinking, um, all flashing zeros. So I knew it was a connection issue. It wasn't really something that was wrong. I thought maybe I had a bad solder joint or maybe a board wasn't um, um, plugged in right into its socket. So I decided to go on to the bottom side here. Now, you have to be really careful with these because there is um, super high voltage, as you can see here. Uh, and it will kill you. So, for anybody who has one of these, the reason why I'm doing this is just in case somebody's having the same issue, um, you can have a spot to look, a spot to check. Um, not necessarily for any other reason. Um, but anyway, yeah, so when I give this thing just a little, slight little tap, the light would come back on and I'd get my, um, the frequency display would come back on. So, I knew that it was some sort of a connection somewhere, but good luck, right? I mean, there's... There's just connections everywhere, but this is the main, so that, that main power board um, goes from here, and then this is where all the regulator boards are, so this is the socket, uh, this is the solder side of the sockets for those. So I decided I was going to go ahead and desolder all these and uh, resolder them. So I started over here. on this side and when I went to go desolder this this pin right there well there's supposed to be a pin there got sucked up into the desoldering gun and then when I went to go do this one uh, the pin broke so what is that that's the power supply I'm assuming this is a power supply it is extremely heavy or transformer something something's in there but anyway this is Again, this is high voltage, so be careful. If you're not comfortable around electricity, especially AC, um, you know, don't do this. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the pin. That normally goes right there on those. So like I said, this one was already broken and this one was on its way out. So this is, this is what fell out when I uh, desoldered 
that um this right here but this here was definitely loose and this is that would explain why every time i'd give this thing a little whack the um you know it would come back to life i'd get that 20 the plus 20 volts again so um question is now is it worth um buying one of these is it worth buying a whole new not new but another um 8640 signal generator to have for parts um is it worth trying to solder on a tab on there uh i think i'm gonna go down that road first and um try to solder something on there with some silver solder something with a little bit higher temperature so that way when i go and solder this hair it's not gonna lose connection there again so um that's the plan um or maybe solder a wire um from there uh, up just until i can decide what to do here because i'm really missing my signal generator here um you know that 2040 is okay um but you know once you're used to something something like this you know it's it's tough not using something like this so uh but this is definite signs that i need to do some sort of upgrade to my um signal generator um i might even just buy another one of these uh, maybe refurbished or something or um you know one that's in good working order and i can kind of just go through one and because uh, i i really like these i i know how to use these the the you know they're just um rock solid you know um everything's made in the united states um you know uh, quality you know gold um components this is what they in case people don't know um when they go salvaging gold from computers and you know laboratory equipment this is what they want they that, that's real gold so but um anyway uh, i'm gonna go give this a shot i'm gonna try uh soldering on uh, a little um a little barrel or whatever you want to call that a little terminal there um solder a little terminal on there stick that back through so that pokes through that goes in there and those terminals go up through you see right there and uh yeah and then that socket you see there that's where the uh that main uh power board or rectifier board uh i don't know if that's a rectifier board but um, that's the main power board, I think. Um, yeah, goes right in there. So, all right, let me get this back together and uh, let's see if I got the uh, 20 volts back. And then hopefully I get my uh, frequency counter going and then hopefully the machine will, uh, will start going. But you can see how it's just well engineered. Everything is labeled. Um, you know, they even tell you, uh, HP even tells you how to, what screws to take out, um, you know, when you want to take out a, mo it's like kind of, kind of, sort of modular, not quite, but, um, you know, it's, let me tell you, they don't, uh, I hate to sound cliche and, you know, like the old man-ish, but they don't build things like this anymore, I can tell you that. All right, let me try, um, let me try getting this back together, stand by. All right, that was it. That was the fix. I got my 20 uh, volts back. You can see the, uh, the LED is on. So, uh, yeah, this really helps. Uh, I, I, I really like the way HP does their um, laboratory equipment. Um, I'm not sure if any of their current equipment is still the same. Um, but the few vintage pieces that I've had from HP... Um, they've all been like this, um, very, uh, I wouldn't say easy, they're not easy to work on, but they definitely give you a good road map as to, uh, what to do, um, and the, uh, service manual is actually, um, not that difficult to follow, so, um, and they've made, uh, I don't know, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of these, uh, all in different variations, so, the good thing is, too, there is uh, a little bit of, um, I guess you can find a lot of resources on the internet about them. So, um, yeah, but I figured I'd document this in case somebody was having 
a similar issue and instead of pulling your hair out just kind of go there and um, you know um, it's a good place to start anyway uh, it doesn't always mean that if you lose your 20 volts it's there but it's uh, another place to check I guess um, so yeah I'm, I'm glad that I can put this back into uh, service I'm bad I'm glad that I can uh, use this now and um, you know I can go back to business as usual all right hopefully that helps somebody thanks for watching